Hello there, Ray here, and I'm joined by Grandma Mommy. Hi. And today, guys, we got a real special farm for you. We're going to show you a new 1.14 farm, and this is a cat farm. So if you guys don't know, they change the way that cats are obtained in the game. So before, you had to get an ocelot from a jungle, then tame it, and then that would turn into a cat. Now the way it works is that cats will naturally generate with villages, and they are like considered stray cats until you tame them, and then they become your very own player-owned cats. Now, not only do they generate with the villages, they also spawn in with villages. So we went ahead and made a farm which allows us to make artificial village which will spawn in cats and then we'll collect the cats for the player to tame up so they turn into tame cats. So the way that this farm works is actually very simple. What we have up here is a village. So a village only consists of a villager and a bed but for cats to spawn we need to actually have five villagers and five beds. Now the villagers don't need to have professions for cats to spawn. But you do need to have five villagers and five beds. And the cats will spawn near the village. It's kind of awkward the way that it works. But in this simple farm that I designed here, we have a two chunk by two chunk area. So 32 blocks by 32. And what the player will do is AFK over here. And this will allow the cats to spawn in the area around there. Then when the cats spawn in, they will see this rabbit over here. And with these new cats that are wild, these stray cats, they are attracted to rabbits and will try to kill them. So they'll naturally be able to go from anywhere around here. They'll walk their way close to it. You can see they're trying to sneak like they're going to attack the rabbit. And then they're going to actually try to get to the rabbit, but they're unable to. But they will try to get as close as possible. And we have some trap doors here, which they think they can walk over top of. And they'll try to get right over underneath of him. And then they'll end up falling right in between the holes and the trapdoors. And then they'll fall down. And we have a little waterway which just push all the cats over into this nether pearl. And let's go over there and check it out. What we have is just a really simple setup over here. You can make this whatever you want. But the cats will end up coming out of this portal and just falling down here. And then all you have to do is come down here and tame the cats. So these cats are nice and concentrated down here so they won't run away. So you can go ahead and start feeding them some cod or some raw salmon. And you can see how it's really easy to tame them. We got one tamed already here and grandma's taming them as well. And this way you can just get tons of cats very easily. You can see we get all the different types of cats, all the different variations of them. So a really easy way to get all the different types of varieties that you want to get. Now if you really want to, you can go ahead and uh, kill the cats for uh, items. And they'll drop between zero and two string for each one you kill. Looting doesn't actually work on getting more string from the cats. And you also get XP's from killing cats between 1 and 3 XP's. It's also a decent source of string if you're in peaceful mode. You can only get them in fishing and mines. No other mobs, no other peaceful mobs drop string. There is 11 different types of variants of the cats. So you can see them all here. So this one's Tabby, this one's Tuxedo, this one's Red, this one's Sammy's, this one's British Short Hair, this one's Calico. This one is Persian. This one is Ragdoll. This one is white. This one is Scar Cat, which is called Jelly. It's a gray and white one. This last one is Black. These are also ones that naturally generate with witch huts. And you can tame them up with raw cod or raw salmon. And then they'll have this collar on them. And these collars can be dyed. So if you have different color dye, you can change the color of the dye. So you can keep your cats uh, straight without having to use a name tag on them. You can also name them with name tags. So you can see this cat here is keeping the creeper away. It's also keeping the phantoms away. Every time they try to come down, they are afraid of the cat. And the cat will actually hiss at them, and then they'll just fly back up again. Stray cats will attack rabbits as well as baby turtles. But they won't attack adults. Now ocelots are a little bit different. They will not attack these, but they will attack chickens still. But once the cat is tame, he won't attack anything. We discovered that the cats spawn in a circle around the player, not the villagers. And the player has to be on the level that you expect the cats to spawn on. So if you're standing up there or if you're standing even just one block up, cats won't spawn on this surface. They spawn in a circle around you, 16 blocks away from you. And it's, it's like if you did a grid, well, you can, you can see a picture of that with a, a grid 16 blocks away and then over to the 32 block they spawn in that outer ring all the way around from the player and i got spot when i did the, the full amount 
I got to spawn almost like clockwork every 45 to 50 seconds, something like that. Now we'll take a look at Grandma's uh, design. This design here is a little bit simpler, and with this design, you have yes. to AFK over here and at this level for the cast to spawn uh, just around this area here, this 32 by 32 area. It's really strange. Like if you would AFK here, then they would spawn on this side of you. And if you would AFK over here, they would just spawn on this side. I'll put up an image of what it actually looks like when you're AFK opposite sides of the corner on a larger scale. And this is why we have the AFK point here. And when the AFK point is there, then they uh, spawn perfectly around the village and then they will move inwards onto the rabbit. But this farm doesn't produce as much as the next design we're gonna look at. This is more of a simple design. I got about 11 cats in one hour, so it's a little bit slower, but a little bit easier to build up, a little bit simpler. So the reason why we're actually having the cats being put into another portal and taken to the another dimension, because the cats will eventually run into the cap, which is uh, five stray cats around the village, and once there's that many, no more will spawn around the player. And with this portal, they'll be sent to a different dimension and they'll no longer count towards the mob cap. Now this farm isn't like a passive mob farm, so you don't have to worry about if there's other passive mobs around here or other hostile mobs. Those guys don't affect the amount of cats you can have in your farm. Oh, also, uh, it doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, the rates are the same. So the villagers are just having about four blocks above our spawning platform up here. And the funny thing is they can't actually jump out of this area here, even though the player can because the bed is slightly lower than half a block and they can only jump a full block, but the player can jump slightly higher than a full block. And then the rabbit is in the minecart and he's just kind of centered directly in the center of the rail. That way when the cats come in, they'll try to go to the very center of it. What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, hey, we also got iron golem to spawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it can also be an iron golem farm if you want to, but you need to have those cauldrons there if you want that to continue to spawn in iron golems. So the cats can actually spawn close to the player and they're unlike other mobs like passive mobs or like hostile mobs where they need that 24 block kind of buffer zone before they will spawn. So they're similar to like unique spawns like pigmen and iron golems which can spawn near the player. Uh, oh, another thing to remember is that if you do something on your own, the cats track the rabbit at 16 blocks and no further. And the cats will only spawn in about a 16 by 16 block area uh, for this cat farm design here. Now while you're AFKing, you'll also get the wandering trader who will come in with his llamas. So you can get leads off them. You can also get the leather from the llamas as well as the wandering trader and the llamas will eventually pathfind to, to the center and fall in and they'll end up in the portal. So you can also collect wandering traders as when they're in the portal, they will no longer be able to despawn and therefore you can come to them later on and trade with them and just have a whole bunch of them in your portal. So it's kind of like a wandering trader farm as well. Now I also tested this in the end dimension and I did not get any cats to spawn and I probably know and it also probably doesn't work in the nether dimension. But the iron golems do spawn in those dimensions. Deadly MC has this tick rate mod which allows you to speed up time at 1.14 and this makes it really easy for us to test the cat farm here. So I can turn it so that the time will go by really fast and then I can count how many cats spawn and see how many it produces per hour. So if you'd like to check out his mod, I'll put the link down in the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at Grandma Mommy's design. So on this design, I've got the five beds and the five villagers. I tested up to 25 villagers and it didn't seem to affect the rates at all so five is all you need in this area out here which is about eight blocks from the outside i put four evenly spaced traps and there is a portal in each one and then i went into the nether and made one portal right in the center and two blocks up like that two blocks up is the cat uh, i'm sorry is the rabbit in a minecart on, it can be on either the iron bar or a trap door. And so there's 12 of them here. And when I stood at this place right here on, again, on the ground, even with where I expect the cats to spawn, I would, could watch when the entities would pop up and it was about one between every 40 and 50 seconds. Then it takes them a few seconds to find the, the nearest rabbit to aggro towards. And then they'd be down in the hole and the, the timer would start again. So I got almost exactly 60 every hour, every time. And that Oh, we got to get a cat spawn right there. Look at that. The cat spawn right beside us. You can see the cat is trying to pathfind into the rabbit. What these holes are, they're just a simple trapdoor on either side, portal. There's two blocks with water. So let's go look at another. It's 
uh, similar to the other design. So the other side is very similar, where you have the cats just come out of the portal, and they'll eventually kind of push their way out, and they will land down here. Now, one thing they did change is they made it so when entities go through portals, they'll load the other side. If you guys seen that video where I show how that works, essentially every time an entity comes through, it's going to load a kind of small area around the portal. That way you don't have a whole bunch of mobs uh, clogging up directly inside the portal. And then when it is loaded, they'll all take some entity cramming. So you'll find all the cats down here. It's very similar to the other one. You can go ahead and tame them up very easily. If you guys would like to look at this world in more detail, we will provide the real download down in the description. And hopefully this will help cat lovers like Good Times with Scars to collect all the different types of cats. I really had a fun time designing these farms up with Grandma and Mommy. And if you guys like to come along and design farms with us, we do have a snapshot server that we open up on Wednesdays and Fridays during the streams where we design up cool farms like this with the viewers. So maybe you guys will be in the next video. It's really fun! And if you guys did find this video interesting, go ahead and show it with some love, show it with a like, as well as go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Good work. Now it's time for cookies. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye.